Hey everybody. Hi everybody. How's everybody doing? Our fellow Good, fiber, we hope. fiber fanatics and, and uh, yarning peeps. Okay, so today we do have an unboxing for you from Hobby Yarns. H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. Now that is the one based in Denmark. It's not Hobium, it's Hobby. Um, I don't normally buy from Hobby too often because sometimes I find them to be a little bit expensive. But they did have some stuff on sale and they did have some new yarns and I like to show everybody the new yarns. First off though, I want to talk about the hats that uh, we, me and Mr. Bot are wearing. In case you do not know. Okay, this hat right here is knitted. I do not know how to knit. It was gifted to me from my friend Gary from Urban Yarns. Um, he has a free pattern if you're a knitter and you're watching me right now on his YouTube channel. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel below in the comment section. This hat that Mr. Bot is wearing is a mocked cro crochet version of this knitted hat. I have a tutorial for this. I will put a link to that tutorial in the comments or in the description box. A link to Gary's channel in the description box and a link to the tutorial for that in the description box. Um, this is also mine done in two colors. With an extra row. But I liked uh, that yarn so well. It was so beautiful. It's that is from Hope. You just have to watch the video. It's a gorgeous yarn. So, Mr. Was it Bot Trendsetters? No. What one was it? Hobium. Unicorn. Oh, it was Hobium. Okay. He, the Trendsetter uh, was the gold. I made that and I'm like, you can't really see the stitches, but I love the yarn. He goes, me too. And he snatched it up like it was his. So, <laughs> it was my colors. It's like mine. It. I'm only kind enough to let him wear it. You're so kind, babe. Just, Thank you. Too I'm, kind. Too kind. I'm just joking. We'll share it. And then, like I said, this is what it looks like in two, in two tones. But you can make it any one that you want. And remember, there's a knitting version available from Gary from Urban Yarns. Okay, enough of that. Let's get Let's into the goods. What am I going to? Hobby? Hobby. H -O -B -B -I. H -O -B -B -I. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Hobby is shipping time has been ex exceptionally fast compared to when it was, like, pre-COVID. It used to be super slow. Well, they switched shipping, shipping companies, I guess, last year or something. And now it didn't take that long to get here from Denmark to the States. Uh, How long? Um, I think I ordered it on the 26th and today is the 31st. Five days. And that's not bad. That's not bad from, cause sometimes Michael's uh, in the U.S. takes two weeks, uh, to, get two weeks to get here. So, <laughs> so I it think happens. that's pretty good. Okay, well, let's look and see what we got up in here. What so, some of here? it's new, and some of it is we aren't going to have you for Are you in a hurry, Mr. Rob? I'm not in a hurry. You're always off camera. You're making the videos long, babe. <laughs> Can't steal my lines. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. First off, we got, this is um, Hobby. This is one of their new yards. It's called Fantasy. Now, it is, let's read about it, 100% acrylic. 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 150 meters, or 164 yards, and it is classified as a bulky five. Yes. Correct, Mr. Bot? All Correct. right. It says you can wash it, and you can dry it, and it's made in Turkey. It's it's scarfable, and I think it's a perfect bulky five. Now, the way that it's spun it reminds me of, like, uh, Premier, um, what is that stuff? What did I just say it was? I told you it reminded me of it. Puzzle. Premier oh, Puzzle yeah. yarn. Yeah. Kind <laughs> so of. You're asking me, but know. it's really a lot prettier than it. It has almost a metallic sheen to it. Can you see that? Can you see it, Mr. Bob? I can see it. It looks awesome. It looks really, really like rich looking. It's, like royalty. It's very beautiful. Um, what color is this? Oh, two. It is abstract. The color I have in my hand is called Abstract. So this and is... It was six forty nine dollars uh, skiing, but it's four sixty five now. Four sixty five on sale at the making of the video, which is... Uh, three thirty one. Three thirty one o or 2021. I was going to say 02. Jeez. 021. But, and you do get a discount if you buy more at Hobby. If you buy more than one. Here, go back up, Mr. Bun. Go down a little bit. Okay, never mind. Some yarns they let you have discounts, and some they don't. Um, they got quite a few different colors uh, to choose 15. from. Let's see if um, sure they're all in stock here. But yeah. 
Oh yeah, if you buy ten of them, you get them for three nine three eighty nine a piece. Yeah. All the colors are very pretty, but this one just caught my eye, and I don't know that little hint of metallic sheen that it has. It's very subtle, but yet you can still visibly see it. It's quite a beautiful yarn. It, like I said, it looks really rich looking. I love those colors. Very uh, uh, jewel toned. Nice scarf. Okay, oh, now here's the jumbo. Okay, now they here's have the, the fantasy part. also in a jumbo. Super so this, bulky. So this would be a super bulky number six. So it's the same, but it is a six. So it has. Wow, it's got a lot more yardage than the bulky five. Well, okay. Fantasy Jumbo is 100% acrylic to 100 grams or 7 ounces, 240 meters or 262 yards of a bulk, super bulky 6. Wow, That's for $8.80. $8.80. Was twelve ninety eight. Was twelve ninety eight. dollars 98 So it's on sale right now. That's really not too bad. If you buy 7, you can save 40% and get it for seven seventy nine dollars a scheme. So under $8. Say seven, oh, 40% off the regular price. Okay. Yeah, if you buy seven of them. So the same thing applies machine washable, dryable, all that good stuff. The color I have here is number seven. Number seven, let's see. Exotic. Exotic. So that is very pretty, also. And again, it does have that shimmer of metallic on it. It's very subtle. That one does too. But yet enough that you can see it. It's in the green. Yeah, it's in it, the yeah. green. Mm -hmm. I seen it more with this one. I think it was the gold that was yeah, really shining red, through. I really like this one a lot. Uh, I do, I, and I like this one too. And that was the abstract. One. They have this in abstract. They have this the same colors, only oh. one super bulky and one is regular bulky. And I like both. Uh, actually, <laughs> number five is my favorite, but I do like super bulky too. There's the super bulk or the number six weight that they call it. So. Yeah, that's nice. That's pretty new yarn. Good job, Hobby. All right. So this one isn't new, but I have been emailed several times and everybody told me about it and said I would like it. So I finally got around to buying it. This is their Metallico. So it's, it's if you're familiar with Ice Yarns or Hobium Yarns, it's a lot, it's very much the same. It looks to me as their Rockstar or Rock and Roll. Uh, maybe if you might be familiar with uh, um, Yarn Art Medley, it's like that also. Uh, so that's what it reminds me of. It's very shiny, very metallic-y. I've used yarns like this many times. Reminds me of rock and roll too. Yeah. Metallica. <laughs> you kind of sat by me. Is, uh, is that the rose gold? Uh, color? It's uh, color number... I don't know. I think it's rose gold. Okay. 70, I probably did because my daughter rose. 70% 70, uh, 70 polymite, 21% acrylic, and 9% merino. They $4.99 a scheme. For $4.99 $4 a ball. If you buy five, save 16%, seven, 24%, 10, 40%. And if you buy 10, you get it for $2.99. Oh, I didn't buy 10 though because, like I said, <laughs> times they get. Okay, you, this says you hand wash, don't dry. Let me give him the yardies uh, on it. Mr. Bod, you can bring it out for me. What is it? 126 yards, 115 meters, 50 grams, or 1.75 ounces. Nice. But like I said, it's if you've had any of those yarns that I mentioned, it's almost just like identical to those. So, And I like all those yarns, so of mm -hmm. course I'm going to like this one. But I will say that I think that I can get it at Hobium a little bit cheaper as long as I can get free shipping from them. <laughs> What's this? Ooh, this reminds me of some yarn from Hobium and Ice too. Okay, this is new. Is it new? Well, it doesn't say new, but let's see. Yep. Let's okay, see. yeah, this is one of their new yarns. What is it? Colorina. 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 It's eighty percent acrylic and twenty percent wool, as you can see there. Um, that's fifty gram ball, uh, one point seven five ounces, two hundred meters or 218 yards per ball and they classify this as a, a DK which is a lightweight number three and it's a roving style as you can see I would agree with that classification as a three weight this reminds me of Ice Yarns Rosetta a little bit 
only a little bit different of a color. I don't know if they have this color or not, but it's very pretty. This one's got the orange. What do you think, Mr. It matches like you. It. it does match me quite well. <laughs> it does. Looks good, Mr. Bot. So it has the oranges and browns and greens and yellows and golds and everything that makes it beautiful. Oh, inside there's blue. Ooh, Dig further. I guess on my Pirate strings pools. I got some blue. Wow, you never one. know what you're going to find in that one. Nice. That's gorgeous. Nice. Oh, look here. Gorgeous. Some limey color green. Yes, um, Hobie, or Ho yeah, Hobium has a yarn like this also. Can't think of the name of it at the moment, actually. But I think it's their yarn arm brand. $3.20. $3.20? Regular $4.99. Or if you buy seven, you get them for $2.99 a piece. Good deal. Is it scarfable? Yes, it is. I like that one, too. Very nice. So yeah. far, so good. Nice. Here we go. Okay, so this is called... Zephira, it looks like. Zephira? Or Zephira. I think Fira. That is a very pretty in color. It is 55 cotton, 27 wool, 18 acrylic. Mr. Bod, read us the deets, man. 50 grams, 1.75 ounces, 150 meters, or 164 yards. It is a worsted weight, and it is made in... Where does it say? Oh, it I'm sure they're Turkey. all... Probably made in Turkey from um, coming from hobby. hobby. Yeah, made in Turkey. So, and it does, this the one does say to hand wash and lay flat. Do not tumble dry. Is that okay. the shadow gray? Yes, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I like that. I love the color of it. Now, this is a chain spawn. Um, what they classify it as a four way? A worsted. Okay, so it so. is a four way. Um, that's a thicker side of a four, but it's definitely nice. I like the it's thicker side of a four. four. Um, as far as the way it feels, it's scarfable, but it's not like silky soft. Yeah, it doesn't like, you don't slide right off of it. No. It's got a little grab but, to it. But you could still put it on your hand. Oh yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. No, you could still wear a scarf out of it. I just love that gray color. It makes it look, uh, I don't know. Shadowy. Shadowy, antique mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't explain Gives it a little it. depth. Gives us some character. That's gorgeous. I like it. Did you give the price? Four dollars. If you buy ten, three fifty nine. It was regular five ninety nine. Okay. So beautiful. And what's this? You earn points on here? Was I give you a discount? I later? have no idea about that. I don't buy from Hobby enough to know about that. But well, maybe I'll look into that. they have some that. sort of point system on here. I mean, it says you earn eighty points for these. It's not like I don't like their yarns, and I do have a lot of their yarns here. It's just sometimes they're so expensive. I just can't. I don't know. Go for the deals. I always We're here say to save money. yarn is always worth what you're willing to pay for it. And true, some of their true. yarns, as gorgeous as they are, for me, are not worth the price they're asking. But some of them, else? some of them are. Some of, I've bought some expensive yarns from Hobby before. I, I won't lie that I thought were worth it. Some uh, someone else might think I'm crazy, but I did. Like this someone one. Someone <laughs> else? Who's somebody else? Or just anybody in general. Oh. Ooh, I'm gonna like this one. I've always wanted to try this. This isn't really new, but. This is their Molly yarn. Okay, this is 100% wool. And if you know anything about me, I love wool. And boy, do I love rust. I do. Look, it matches my bracelets. Special shout out to Belinda. She uh, sent me hey, these. Yeah, I'm wearing one of those bracelets too. In the mail. Oh, yeah. I uh, got them in the mail Matching. today. Thank you very much. If you're watching, I really, you know my colors quite well. I really enjoy uh, the bracelets. Mr. Bob saw them. He's like, I'm going to wear one too. Yeah, I like them. They match. <laughs> they do. So thank you very much for those. Okay. 100 grams, 135 meters, 3.5 ounces, or 147 yards. Hand wash, lay flat, because it is wool. wool. Bulky. Did you say it's a bulky? There's two different ones in here. Did this I get the bulky? This one is the... I only saw one, but... They have two... Let's see. Let me go back. Okay. This isn't the fine. This okay. is one right there, This yeah. one? Okay, so... 1360 a ball. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's the other one. It's the other one? Make up your mind. Sorry. Sorry. This is the fine, right? Okay, this okay. is called Molly Fine, even though it doesn't say it on there. It's a little bit thinner than their traditional bulky, or traditional Molly. Um, $8.80 a ball. $8.80. Regular $10.99. And what do they classify this as? Uh, Weight-wise. Bulky. Okay, so they say it's a number five weight. And it is a roving style yarn. There you go. Thicker on the five, but very nice still. I like it. 
I'll tell you though, it's not too scarfable. It's going to be, because uh, it's 100% wool. Some wools are scarfable, some aren't. This one's not, I'm not, it's not. But the collar is gorgeous and it would make a great hat, a great sweater as long as you wear something underneath it, or it would be great for felting a bag. What do you Probably think? Would be. Scarfable? Mm, it's not something I would scarf, but. I'm gonna make you some undies. No, why do we always gotta go there? <laughs> We always you guys go there. Don't even want to see the rashes I've had. All the scrubby, <laughs> scrubby like... undies, scrubby speedo. One time it's I made him up. scrubby undies, and I'll never hear the end of it. You looked okay in them, now, Mr. Bond. Okay, just okay. <laughs> I'm joking. I didn't make him scrubby anymore. It's... In my in my finely chiseled, perfectly sculpted dad bod of Adonis that you love so much. Cut this out. Don't cut it out. <laughs> We've been there. We know that don't happen. I didn't make him scrubby underwear. That was she didn't. That was jokes. Thought that's, about that's it. That's borderline abuse, babe. I thought about it when I was mad at it. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. It's just stuff. What's that? K. This is something new. Crimpy. I think. Soul wool, reborn denim. Is it recycled denim? It is a recycled. Crimkey. There's, I think there's a few of them. Is, this is that one's just this the regular. Is, there's a uni. Oh, you got the uni. Okay, okay. Mr. Bob's doing more about it than me here. He's navigating their site. It shows more. All right. Okay. It's 95% cotton, 5% other fibers. Apparently, it's a secret. Uh, the viscose in it probably is the other fibers. It's oh. got little, not viscose, but flex or whatever. 50 grams, 3.5 ounces, 155 meters or 169 yards of a light worsted DK. Light worsted DK. They call this a DK is a three weight. I'm going to say that's more of a sport number yeah, two. Yeah, that's little. That's very it? light for a DK. Um, but it's very pretty and it is, uh, I'm certain that all these, like I said, all these yarns are probably made in Turkey coming from Hobby, but this is a different brand, so it may not be. Why are you getting off camera all the time, Mr. Bach? Just in my hat. Why are you going to call me out? <laughs> it doesn't say where it's made. If it does, I'm not seeing it. Okay. And it says you can wash, but do not dry. So it's very pretty. It's just really lightweight. It's got the flex in it. What color is this one? Um, color lot 120. 120? Rose quartz. Rose quartz. quartz. Looks like it. Pretty close to the yeah, pick. Yeah, the depiction is correct. Accurate. Okay, is it scarfable? It feels like recycled yarn sometimes. Uh, it's cotton ishy. It's not bad. It's not like um super bad. I mean, what for is a it? scarf. Ninety five cotton. It's not the softest cotton I've ever felt. It'd probably make a really pretty drapey shawl though, since it's so oh, lightweight. Yeah. If you use a nice uh, lacy stitch, be good that'd for probably that. be what I would do with it. Yeah. I'm not gonna do anything with it because it's too lightweight for me. Doilies. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I would do with it if I was to do anything with it. it would probably be a lightweight uh, scarf with um, not scarf a shawl. shawl with uh, lacy stitches. I think it would have an excellent drape. Six dollars and forty nine cents a ball, not on sale. So, worth it, babe? Is it worth it? Oh, here's the other Molly. Oh, I got this Molly into it. This is the same Molly. <laughs> Different colors. I love these colors. I know everybody's like, oh my God, it's so <laughs> 70s. If this had gold, it would be perfect for me. It matches you too. Again, Mr. Bot, almost. I know, I'm that 70s guy. I love, I love rust and brown and this color green and mustards and all kinds of colors like that. Those are beautiful. These are the same. Why are you dinging during the video? That's rude, Mr. Bond. That's like going to a doctor's office and making the phone. I doubt HIPAA matters right here, though. I All the yarn never fibers I'm breathing. take my phone into a doctor's office because that's. I have to go to a doctor. Huh? I said all the yarn fibers I'm breathing, I'm going to have to go to a doctor. Stop. What's the stuff? Uh, this one is Navia Trio. Okay, let's look at this one first. Navia Trio, 100% pure new wool kind of a tiny ball. It is, isn't it? A little bit littler than one. Is it the sock one? I don't know. No, this is the trio. There's a, there's a sock. Okay. Did you get a sock? Yeah, but it's a four-way sock, I think. Okay, so this is 50 gram ball. Um, hand wash, lay flat, 
120 meters, 131 yards, 100% wool. It's a medium weight number four. Definitely not scarfable, but yeah, I'd say that's a four weight. I don't know. Probably uh, feltable though. I wouldn't even want that one on my head. Let me see it. Oh yeah. That's pretty scratchy. Ugh. This feels like, uh, I said this one I probably wouldn't make a scarf out of, but actually it feels like a uh, cloud compared to it this does. one. <laughs> I was thinking this one thing. is definitely really, really stiff. So felt Gra it's grabby. Yeah. Um, and this is Let's the same the brand, sock yarn. Navia Sock Yarn, but I believe it's a four weight. This one's 549 if you're interested. And oh, it was new. That's why I got it. I wanted to show you. Let me get you the sock yarn. I took a hit. I took the hit for the new 549 yarn. also. This one's wool and nylon. What was that one again? This is 100% wool. Okay. Pure yeah, that new one's wool. wool and nylon. Hey, a little bit. Yeah, it's not, not as, it's not as bad as far. It's still not super soft. I'd wear a hat of it though. But same yardage. This one I wouldn't even wear a hat on it. Um, but it is a machine washable, lay flat. Um, it's they say it's sock yarn, but it's classified as a, as a four weight. That's about right. Pretty close. Yeah, yeah, that's four weight. Looks nice. Pretty color. Um, made Shetland wool and Australian lambs wool. Oh, that's interesting. Um, let's see. Doesn't say. Nope. Okay. Anyways, okay, and this was new too. This is their uh, big. You know, have you guys seen these before, right? Their big uh, balls of yarn that they have. Oh, I lost my page. Oh. Um, What's it called? We love yarn. We love yarn. Now they have these, and they've always been a DK weight. Now they got them in a four well, weight. Well, okay. right I never. I mean, I I liked this yarn, but I never like. Um, it was just uh, three weight, and you know, I'm not a big fan of three weights. So and now they have it new, it's their Mega Ball. Aaron, Aaron is a four weight, so 400 grams, 400 grams, 1200 meters, 1312 yards. What? Oh. No, 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 you're on the wrong Mega. Oh, that's the that's the old one, that's a three weight. Go that's to the Mega Ball, Aaron. What's happening out there? Hold on one second. Kids are going crazy. How much is it? Okay, it's 1190. And that's for? Um, for 762 yards, and it was a regular 1549. So. Yarn is worth what you will pay for it. So. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? But, like I said, it's, it feels like their regular DK version, only it's thicker and less yardage. It's pretty soft, but yeah, if it's less yardage and more expensive, then. Yeah. I don't think it's more money, but, well, the other one's a DK. That's why it has oh, more okay. yards. Oh, okay, so this, this is four, it's yes. probably similar and everything. Got one more here, right here. I got is it. the only one? I think this is the last one. Which is the Calori. This again? You can't pronounce it. Krimki. Krimki. Oh, it's really lightweight, lightweight, lightweight. Calori. So, it says this is um, Reborn Denim. Um, let's see. It's they they classify this as a. Okay, you coming back? Yeah. Come back, Mr. Bob. Okay. Okay. So this is a uh, the reboard denim color. Um, ninety five percent cotton, five percent other fibers. I guess I don't know. It has that look to it there, twisted look to it. Um, there are 200 or it's 50 grams 3.5 ounces 190 meters or 207 yards and they classify this as a DK No way you know better than that too. That is no DK That's like I think that's thinner than the last one The other one they classified as a DK it's a little it's even thinner Definitely, I don't think either of those are DKs. One look, this one looks like a one weight, and this one looks like a two sport weight. So I don't know, but you can take your judgment on. That's definitely not a DK, but whatever you think that is, it is a pretty yarn. As far as softness goes, again, it feels similar to this. Um, Seven forty nine a ball. Okay, yarn's worth what you pay for it. So. <laughs> so yeah um 
but I think again for this yarn um, it would probably make is the same as this one probably make a good lacy drapey shawl that's what I would do with it if I could use a lightweight like that I don't really particularly like doubling up yarns too much usually when I get lightweights new yarns to show people I usually use the foam and giveaways so that's probably what will happen with this it's just too lightweight for me but the colors on both of those are very pretty they're just misclassified in their sight and they're not super super soft actually not not really <laughs> so so there's that okay I think that's all I got multiples of some of these so that I got but let me look and make sure okay. the real winner for me and my favorite for, of the day is the maybe you guys can guess it the abstract yes the fantasy of oh, the fantasy abstract you call it in the color abstract that is so pretty i don't know what it is it's the golden red in it i don't know it's all of it so jewel tone and then such slight metallic look to it it just makes it look so pretty it is definitely the best one even though it's and it's although like these two the colors are nice oh i, I like, like these the shimmer two. to these and the smokiness but I like the. Uh, I like the big ab the, the big one too. I wish I would have got it in. I don't know. I like this color too. The metallic doesn't show up quite as well in this one as it does the other one. Maybe it's just the colors. But what was the color of that one? I can't remember. It's exotic. Exotic. They have a lot of pretty colors, mm -hmm. but you can see a little bit of the metallic yeah, in the, the white, yellow. maybe in the yellow. Yeah. That blue, it's yeah. just not showing up quite as well as these deep jewel tones. This is a busy yarn as far as color goes, but I like stuff like that. I think, yeah, he does like busy patterns. I think it's pretty scarf would be nice with this. I like that. So this is my up, favorite. Whip it up. Um, as far as that goes, I like everything. This is like I said. It's just I've used it so many times. Not this particular brand, but you use one, you used them all. So, and I don't have a problem with them. I've made many things. I'm excited to get the Molly. They have another one, but it's thicker and a lot more money. Mm -hmm. This one was a little bit thinner than the other ones. I love these colors. Oh, this is pretty too. I think that one's really nice. Colorina, the Colorina. one that matches Mr. Bob today. Pretty, 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 pretty. These were not my mm -hmm. faves. No. I wouldn't buy those again. Neither one of them. No. I said, like I said, this is so rough, I wouldn't even make a hat out of it. This one's okay. Can you make a wash rag? No, I wouldn't even, I don't know. A scrubby? It'd be an expensive wash rag, wouldn't it? Wasn't, weren't they like five bucks? <laughs> uh, probably. More than that. All right, that's it. New yarn, some hobby. That's all she wrote? That's it. The wow. rest are just doubles of some things. You need to buy more yarn next time. I was having fun. It is fun, but that's all the new yarn they had. And then some of it wasn't even new. It's just I wanted to get it because I didn't have it. Or people told me to try it and... Well, that's good. At least you listen and you made yeah, it. Yeah, you guys ever and... find any new yarns? You know that uh, you can always email me new yarn stores. People email me new yarn stores that I, I sometimes I buy from, sometimes I don't. It really depends on the prices. Yeah, if you somehow. guys want to know about it before you buy it, she might, be able, might be able to get it. Or... That's my job here is to take a hit so you don't have to, or to let you know if it, you know what I mean. If it's bad or not that good, I'll tell you honestly. Yarn she buys, yarn you buy, yarn she buys, crochet. Mr. Bob. Hey, yeah, if you guys watched our last video where Mr. Bob made, said that uh, story, what was it about us? When we first met, you yeah. can't even remember when we first met. You, you made that up on the fly? Yeah. See, Mr. Bob, I, I thought that he did. He makes it up on the fly. Mr. Bob likes to make music and he's really good at poetry so he can he can rhyme on the fly like i can crochet on the fly that's our talents all right we're gonna go combine our talents <laughs> if we had those rings what were those decoder rings or what were oh, the rings that you put together oh mighty morph is that the power rangers that do that thundercats i, I want to be a thundercat let's be thundercats i don't know what it is you don't know what a thundercat is it's a care bear is? like my shirt oh care, care bears bear. unite i don't care <laughs> <laughs> Isn't All right. that what that kid on Care Bear says? Yeah, we're gonna go. I don't go. care. We're gonna go because Mr. Bob don't care. I don't. All right, we love you guys. Thank you, you all for watching the unboxing. Um, remember, I'm not affiliated with Hobby, so 
I don't care if you buy it or not. She's just, a customer. I'm a customer every once in a while. Just checking out their new yarns for you. Giving you guys the deets and the specs. and telling Down low. You, yeah. She lays down. it out so you can play it out. Like I said, yeah. The low down. The down low. You guys can. Peace. Uh, yeah. Have a great night. Stay safe, okay? Bye-bye, guys.